Here are your charcoal boxes. Inside your charcoal box, you're going to find a whole variety of charcoal pencils. There should be four types of pencils per student, and this is what they look like up close. You can tell the type of pencil it is by the number it says on the side. So it says charcoal, and then it has some um, like three-digit number, but you want to look at the 4B, the 6B, the 2B, the white. That's what you should be concerned with. Also in your box, you're going to find two containers. One is for pencil sharpeners. The other one is for kneaded erasers. They do have to be kept separate, and they do need to be stored in those containers just to keep them separated from all the charcoal dust. All right, so here's what the kneaded erasers look like. They come in this little cellophane package. You may have to unwrap it from the package so that it can be used. But if you've never used a kneaded eraser before, you're in for a treat because they're kind of fun to squish around. And you are actually supposed to squish them into a shape. They come like this little pillow form, this rectangle, but you can really squish it down into like a ball. Usually mine look like a ball, but like they have a point at the end. Um, the warmer you get it, so if you have, if you use your hands, you can warm up the material. The warmer you get it, the more pliable it is. You want to always put it back into that same container. No shaving should be in there. No extra charcoal dust. All right, so here's the other container you have in your box. That's for pencil sharpeners alone. These pencil sharpeners are my absolute favorite. You don't ever want to sharpen a charcoal pencil into the um, electric sharpener. You have to use a handheld. These are called bullet sharpeners. And I have replacement blades, so if your blade is getting dull, I can always replace it. So you just want to sharpen these down. It's okay to go ahead and let the shavings go into the bottom of this cup, provided that you dump the cup at the end of the period. So you want them to a nice point. If you over sharpen them, the point will break off inside and that's a no-no. So that's about how sharp you want these guys. And then you're going to go and remove the sharpener when you dump it. Don't dump out the sharpener by mistake. Then you're going to take it over, dump it, and then put the lid back on, twist it back on tight, put it back into your box. All right, so your first task, you should already have the outlines for all these, is to go ahead and go to the circles. You're going to be filling in the different types of pencils you have in your box. That way you get more familiar with them. And you're going to be starting with the white first. And I want to point out that when I'm shading this, I am shading in kind of little ovals. They're tight ovals. And they're even. And you want to exert the same amount of pressure all the way around. Otherwise, you're going to get a patchy feel. This is going to be even more important when we go to the black charcoal because it becomes more noticeable. If it goes outside of the frame, outside of the circle, that's OK. It's fine. You could also, if you're nitpicky, you can take your kneaded eraser and erase out where it goes in. You want to get a medium pressure on that white one when you're doing the white one. Okay, so here's how you can tell what number it is. You have to look almost all the way towards the end. That one's kind of fuzzy, but that's a 4B soft. So the higher the number, the softer the charcoal lead, which means the richer, the more velvety the, the charcoal becomes, the darker it is. So we're going to be looking for 2B in a minute. Here's the 6B right there. So you need to find the one that says 2B is soft. So now I'm filling in the 2B, making sure I'm pressing lightly and going in ovals. You really want there to be a transition from the white to the 2B to the 4B to the 6B, that they get progressively darker as they get higher in number. 